Hi and welcome to another video in this Belief Principle series. I'd like to thank everybody for all the comments and for subscribing to kind of the various channels on social media. It depends where you watch this as well. It's going to be all over social media. But I'd like to thank you as well. And if you'd like to subscribe, whatever channel you're on, subscribe to my kind of updates and get the notifications as well and hit that like button as well. That would be fantastic if you could do that. Okay, what I want to talk about today is the energy of your beliefs. We think about your beliefs, all the beliefs you have. We have literally hundreds of beliefs in our life, every single person. And if we think about our beliefs as being apps on your mobile phone. So if you think about your mobile phone and you've got all your kind of apps on the mobile phone, fantastic. They do some, some great things. Others are just distractions for you as well. But if you leave them kind of on all the time, it's going to drain your battery um, for you as well. So if you have... Um, like the biggest ones could be Netflix or Amazon or kind of YouTube, that could be the biggest drainers of your battery. So if you've got it unplugged, it just drains everything in the background and your battery will quickly run down as well. It's the same with your beliefs. A lot of the beliefs you have, the limiting beliefs that you have in your life will drain your life completely. You just feel completely drained of energy. You know that um, kind of sometimes when you get up out of bed in the morning and you just feel totally drained and you just can't do anything and you feel lethargic and you just don't feel like doing anything at all and then the other days you can just literally jump out of bed and you're kind of ready for the day you're ready for the, the kind of big fight or you're ready for the day ahead and you're just really excited about it do you know those kind of days well the first kind of day we were talking about if you have a lot of limit limiting beliefs running in the background your energy will probably constantly be drained. So you feel depressed, you feel lethargic, you feel tired all the time, you don't feel like doing anything, there's no motivation. And we, a lot of us get days like this, but for some people, we can just feel this all the time. And this is why it's important to look at our beliefs, what beliefs we have running in the background. So if we have a lot of limiting beliefs, i.e. we don't have any self-confidence, we don't have um, high self-esteem, we don't have a high feeling of self-worth, we don't have a high feeling of self-efficacy, if we don't have any of that, then we need to look at our beliefs and think, ask the question, what can I do to change those beliefs? Because our energy or our beliefs have energy attached to them. So if you think about, imagine your perfect day, if you think about your perfect day just now, just very, very quickly, think about your perfect day. What does it look like? What do you feel like when you first get up in the morning? When I think about it, I think of being kind of waking up, and it's kind of similar to what I do just now, to be honest, kind of waking up, it's kind of dark in the morning because I get up very early, I get up at half four, five o'clock, half five. So it's dark, um, I love spending time on my own. This is why I work um, as well for myself because I love that kind of time alone. It gives me time to think about things. And so that's my perfect day. I get up at that kind of time in the morning. Then I'll sit down, have a cup of tea or coffee, and read a bit about the books and do some online work. I'll do some writing and I'll do some um, kind of looking at charts and stuff depending on what I'm doing. And then I'll chat on social media. Then I'll do more writing for the blog and the books and stuff like that. That's my perfect day. Uh, and it just fills me with a sense of energy just thinking about it. But another kind of perfect day would be when I'm on holiday with my wife and um, it's not about work and we're just totally relaxing. I wake up, sunshine, walk onto the veranda, I can see the sea, hear it um, as well when I'm kind of sleeping or dozing off, I just hear the sea. That's my perfect day and just having a great time with my wife, just kind of reading, going out, having fun. So there's different kind of scenarios we have. I have a work day that is my perfect day um, as well, and I have time with my wife and my uh, sons as well. And so I have different perfect days. But when I think about them and I think about the beliefs involved in having that kind of scenario, then it fills me with a sense of energy. So if you think about your perfect day, what is your work day, what does your work perfect day look like and what is your um, kind of relaxation perfect day look like and what does your family perfect day look like, what does your spiritual perfect day look like and if you think about them and the beliefs involved in them as well, then you are filled with a lot of energy. Conversely, if you think about kind of what is your worst day, you automatically start to feel a draining of energy, even thinking about them. So imagine you've got lots of limiting beliefs in your life that are draining your energy in the background because you have those beliefs running all the time. 
You're constantly evaluating yourself. You're constantly putting yourself down. You're constantly saying you're no good. You're constantly saying you're not intelligent. You're ugly. You're too fat. You're too big. You're too slow. Or you're not intelligent enough. If you constantly think that, you're constantly going to be drained of energy. And your beliefs have energy attached to them. When you start to realise that, if you can change just some of your beliefs, you change your energy. When you change your energy, when you change your beliefs, you change your thoughts. When you change your thoughts, you change your actions. When you change your actions, you change your outcomes in life. So things will start to happen for you just because you've changed your beliefs and your thoughts and your energy patterns and your actions as well. So that all culminates in you changing your life just by looking at your beliefs and changing even a couple of beliefs in your life. All your beliefs have energy attached to them. Think about the beliefs that you have that are draining your energy. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And if you'd like to leave a comment down below, that would be fantastic. And remember, whatever channel you're watching this on, subscribe, hit the notification bell and like this video. Okay, until next time, namaste. Take care. Bye now.